blessed afternoon to all. This Eucharistic celebration is being streamed through the Facebook page of San Lorenzo Ruiz Paris. We enjoin you to dress appropriately and actively and reverently participate in our celebration. Please kneel. Horatio Imperata for COVID for protection against the COVID-19 virus. In the name of the Father, Father and of the, the Son, and of the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Amen. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin Mary, Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. 2021 Year of Mission Adventist Mission Prayer. God, our loving Father, you send your divine Son into the world to proclaim the good news of salvation to all, to sinners, the poor, oppressed, the sick, the abandoned, and neglected. He gave life on the cross for us and rose again to new life to redeem us and reconcile us with you. You send your Holy Spirit to the apostles to continue the work of your Son and to lead all to salvation. We thank you, Father, for bringing us from darkness into light. Through your loving plan 500 years ago, missionaries came to our land to proclaim the gospel of Jesus, your Son, to our ancestors. That made us your people and the Church. The gift of faith has accompanied us through both darkness and lights. Defeats and victories of our history as your people, our faith has become for us true light that shines in the darkness. Renew in us the grace of your spirit that impels us to be witnesses of Jesus, your Son, to a world broken by greed, violence, injustice, sickness, and suffering. May our faith bring us to unity as your children, to care for and love one another. May the Holy Spirit empower us to be proclaimers of the good news to our brothers and sisters in Asia and to all nations. Give us the sincere desire to help others to come to faith in the Lord Jesus to share in your joy and life. May the Blessed Mother, the star of evangelization, Accompany us and pray for us as we live and share our faith with others. May our strong love and devotion to her as our mahal na ina form us to be true disciples and witnesses of Jesus to all. Always ready to be sent 
and to be obedient to whatever Jesus asks of us. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please stand for the Regina Shelley. Queen of heaven, rejoice, alleluia. For he whom you did marry to bear, alleluia, has risen as he said, alleluia. Pray for us to God, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, alleluia. For the Lord is truly risen, alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant, we beseech you, that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. In the name and of, and the, of Father, the Father, and of the, and the Son, and of the, and of the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Today is the sixth Sunday of Easter, Mother's Day. The theme of our celebration is the vital link between love and the commandments. Today, the Lord Jesus continues to develop last Sunday's idea of union with him as a condition to bear fruits of holiness in our lives. He does so by emphasizing that keeping his love commandment is the practical way to show the reality of our union with him and to bear fruit. There is a life-giving relationship between union with Jesus and fruitfulness, fruitfulness and love, love and obedience to God's commandments. The Eucharist we are about to celebrate is a manifestation of our union with the Lord and among ourselves. It is also a most effective way to strengthen such union whenever we proclaim God's word, participate in shared prayer, and receive Holy Communion. This is also a wonderful opportunity to show our love and gratitude to our mother as we celebrate Mother's Day. We will do that not only by offering them flowers and hugs, but also by praying for them, especially in this Eucharistic celebration. The celebrant of today's Mass is our Paris priest, Reverend Father Nino Etulli, SCG. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you in peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. <laughs>
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relieve in remembrance we may always hold to in to what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The baptism of the Roman centurion Cornelius and all the members of his household was a landmark not only in their lives, but also in the history of the Church. By opening her doors to non-Jews, the Church began to be universal, that is, the home of all nations and cultures, as Jesus intended her to be. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Peter entered, Cornelius met him, and falling at his feet, paid him homage. Peter, however, raised him up, saying, Get up, I myself am also a human being. Then Peter proceeded to speak and said, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him 
and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. While Peter was still speaking these things, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who were listening to the word. The circumcised believers who had accompanied Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit should have been poured out on the Gentiles also, for they could hear them speaking in tongues and glorifying God. Then Peter responded, Can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit? Even as we have, he ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all your lands break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Today, the Apostle St. John reminds us of the essential relationship between authentic love and knowledge of God. He also underlines that Jesus is the greatest manifestation of the Father's love for us. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as expiation for our sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. loves me will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, 
so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandment and remain in His love. I have told you this so that, you may, you may, so that my joy may be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love and love one another. Magandang gabi po. May isang kwento ng isang doktor. Yung buhay niya simula nung nagkaroon ng pandemya ay naging special, naging kakaiba. Sapagkat hindi lang siya naging doktor by profession, siya rin ay naging co-journeyer ng mga pasyente niya. Sapagkat sa tuwing siya ay nag-iikot, ipinaparamdam niya na siya ay hindi lang doktor kung hindi siya ay kasama sa kanyang journey. Journey para sa kanyang recovery and healing. At hindi natatapos yung araw na siya'y uuwi ng kanyang tahanan na hindi niya dinadalaw, dinadaanan niya ulit yung kanyang mga pasyente at tinatapos yung kanilang pag-uusap sa isang panalamin. Alam niya kung gaano kadelikado ang kanyang ginagawa sapagkat yung mga pasyente niya ay COVID patient. Alam niya kung gaano kadelikado, kung gaano kalaking sakripisyo para sa kanyang pamilya na uuwian niya sa kanyang tahanan. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friend. Mayroong isang nanay, naglilingkod sa simbahan, buong buhay ibinibigay sa paglilingkod at sa kanyang pamilya, subalit marami pa rin siyang napupuna, marami pa rin pumupuna sa kanya, despite sa kanyang commitment sa paglilingkod. Minsan, Tinanong siya, bakit sa gitna ng mga paghuhos ka, pagpupuna sa'yo, bakit nananatili ka na naglilingkod? Ang sabi niya, ako'y nananatili sa paglilingkod dahil alam ko na mahal ako ng Diyos. Pokus lang tayo kay Jesus upang tayo 
ay hindi malubog sa kawalan, kasalanan. Nagtiwala sa akin ang Diyos at dahil doon, nagtiwala ako sa Kanya. Kakaibang klase o uri ng pagmamahal at pananampalataya. Isang tao na walang-wala kung hindi nangangalakal ng basura. Ang hirap ng buhay ngayong panahon ng pandemya. Subalit pinili niya pa rin na sa gitna ng kawalan, pinili niya pa rin na makatulong sa kanyang pamayanan, makatulong sa kanyang mga kasama na nangangalakal. Pag-ibig na mapag-alay. Pag-ibig na mapag-alay. Na hindi tinitingnan kung ano ang meron siya. Kung hindi ang mahalaga sa kanya, kung ano yung meron, kung ano ang meron siya sa kanyang puso. At ang sabi niya, ako po'y walang wala, subalit mayroon akong Kristo sa aking puso. At marahil, kung titingnan po natin sa ating buhay, nagsimula ang pamayanan, ang parokyang ito, sabi niyo nga, sa isang maliit na pamayanan, hanggang sa unti-unting lumago ang pamayanan. What makes this place beautiful and lovely, holy, not because of money na ibinibigay ng mga members ng community, but the love that dwells into it. Baliwala yung ganda, yung ganda, yung laki, yung lawak ng istruktura kung wala namang pagmamahal sa puso ng bawat isa na nasa parokya o nasa pamayanan. Kung titingnan natin yung buhay natin, yung buhay ng ating pananampalataya, yung relasyon natin sa Diyos, sa celebration natin ngayon na Mother's Day. Sabi nga nung isang anak sa kanyang ina, Mama, hindi ka ba napapagod? Kasi parang wala kang pagod sa iyong ginagawa. Retired ka na sana eh. Wala ka pa rin tigil. Ang dami, po, ang dami pa rin ginagawa. At sabi ng kanyang anak, at dahil dyan, ikaw ang aming inspirasyon sa buhay. Walang pagod, walang tigil, at sabi ng anak, dahil sa iyong ginagawa, ikaw ang aming pinaghuhugutan ng lakas, lalong-lalo na kung kami ay nanghihina. Yun po ay katangian ng isang ina na hindi po nalalayo sa katangian ng Diyos. Na laging nagpapaalala sa atin na ang Diyos ay hindi napapagod. Ang Diyos ay hindi tumitigil sa pagpapaalala sa atin. Ang Diyos ang siyang pinaghuhugutan natin ng lakas sa anumang pagsubok na pinagdadaanan natin. Sapagkat ang pagmamahal ng Diyos ay walang itinatangi o pinipili. Mayaman man o mahirap, may pinag-aralan o wala, hindi siya tumitingin doon. Hindi siya tumitingin kung tumatanda ka na o tumanda ka na sa loob ng simbahan o hindi. Ano ang profession mo o ano ang formasyon na pinagdaanan mo sa loob ng simbahan. Sapagkat ang tinitingnan ng Diyos, ano ang laman ng puso mo? Ano ang laman ng puso mo? Ano ang itinitibok ng puso mo? Sapagkat ang taong tumutupad sa kalooban ng Diyos 
at nagmamahal. Ito yung mga taong masaya, nagagalak sa tuwing nakikita niya na yung kanyang kapwa na matagal nang hindi nagsisimba ay bumabalik unti-unti. Ito yung mga tao na masaya at nagagalak na nakikita niya ang kanyang kapwa na minsan ay nagkamali. Unti-unting bumabalik sapagkat itinuturing niya itong kaibigan, hindi ibang tao. Kaya nga, yung panyaya, sikapin po nating akayin at itama kung mayroong pagkakamali ang ating kapwa. Itama sa, sa tamang pamamaraan. At lumabas tayo doon sa pananaw na kami lang. Iba ka, hindi ka kasama. Sapagkat yung pagiging kristyano ay hindi po titulo lang kundi ito'y isang privilegio at responsibilidad na kaya ng iba. Hindi it's, it's a pwera ang iba. Kaya nga yung paalala, yung paalala sa atin sa first reading, may the joy of receiving the Holy Spirit bestowed on us by the virtue of baptism na tinanggap po natin. Ito ay makita rin sa ating buhay. The joy of experiencing God's love that Jesus Christ and sharing His love with others. Yung pagmamahal, yung biyaya na na-experience natin, kailangan ito'y naipapakita sa ating gawa. And the joy of God when we remain in His love When we follow His command, ano po yung command na yun? Love one another. Hindi lamang po love one another, but to lay down our life for our friends. Yun po'y isang napakaganda na kailangan na po nating unti-unting maisabuhay, unti-unting tularan. At maraming salamat sa mga nanay na nandito o nasa live streaming na nanonood ngayon. Dahil isa kayo sa konkreto na halimbawa ng pag-aalay ng buhay. Isa kayong halimbawa ng pagmamahal. Isa kayong halimbawa ng pagpapakita ng pribilehyo na may kasamang responsibilidad na alagaan, akayin ang mga anak na ipinagkatiwala sa inyo ng Diyos. At tularan ang Diyos na kailanman ay hindi hindi tayo pinabayaan. Na kahit sa ating pagkadapa, katulad ng isang ina, tayo rin ay itinatayo ng Diyos. Marahil ito, ito po lagi yung lagi nating tandaan. Minsan, nagiging mapagmataas po tayo bilang mga sumusunod sa Panginoon. Sapagkat madalas inaakala natin yung, pag, yung pagkakaintindi ng privilege ay walang kasamang responsibilidad. Nakalimutan natin na unang-una tayo ay mga komunidad. Ang, paro, ang isang parokya ay komunidad ng mga makasalanan. We are community of sinners. Parokya ng mga makasalanan. Subalit, tayo man ay parokya ng mga makasalanan. Ang Diyos, ang Panginoon, ay patuloy na naghihintay sa atin na bumalik sa Kanya. Kaya yung Kanyang paanyaya, gumawa tayo na kahit maliit na bagay, Basta ito ay naaayon. Basta ito ay ginagawa natin ng tama at banal. At sa pagpapatuloy ng misang ito, ng pagdiriwang natin ngayon sa ikaanim na linggo ng muling pagkabuhay ng Panginoon. Pag sumikapon po natin, damahin. 
sa ating mga puso. Ang tuwa, ang galak, ang kasiyahang dala ng Panginoong Yesus kung tayo ay mananatili sa Kanya. Sapagkat sa pananatili natin sa Kanya, doon lamang tayo magkakaroon ng ganap na kapayapaan at doon lamang tayo magkakaroon ng maraming bunga sa ating buhay. Amen. Please rise. Together, we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, maker, maker of, of heaven and earth, earth of, all of all things, things visible and invisible. I believe, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, God born, born of the, the Father before all ages, ages. God, from God from God, light from light, from light True God from true God, God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our life has meaning only if it is characterized by love, a love pattern after the love of the Blessed Trinity for us. Aware of the preciousness of this gift, let us implore the Lord, saying, God of love, hear our prayer. God of love, hear our prayer. For all Christians, all denominations, may they find in their common love for Jesus the inspiration to love one another as he commanded us. Let us pray. God of love, hear our prayer. For the Holy Father and all other spiritual leaders, may they always be united by the band of love of, as Jesus is united with the Father. Let us pray. God, God of, love, of love, hear our prayer. prayer. For all the peoples of the earth, May they understand that only through brotherly and sisterly love, patterned after the example of Christ, can they experience genuine progress and lasting peace. Let us pray. God, God of love, love hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our community and each of its members, may we preserve and increase the atmosphere of fraternal love by overcoming selfishness and all forms of dishonesty. Let us pray. God of love, hear our prayer. For all the mothers throughout the world, may they have the strength and good health to fulfill their duties with loving dedication. Let us pray. God, God of, of love, love, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. God, God of love, love hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord Jesus, may all our actions be done out of love and with love, and thereby make present on earth the love that binds you to the Father and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our passed over has been sacrificed. Through him, the light of the children of light rise to eternal light, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful, for his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people, exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the bountiful holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given off for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from me. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us joyfully proclaim the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Roberto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honors is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restored us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of the saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. At ngayon, sa pagunitan ng taon para kay San Jose, Ama na Heso Kristo at Patron ng mga may sakit at karamdaman, inaanyayahan namin kayo na mag-alay ng kandila para sa Kanya at para sa inyong mga intensyon. Mangyari lamang pong pumila na may social distancing. At dahil buwan ng Mayo ngayon, mayroon din po tayong pag-aalay ng bulaklak para kay Maria. Mangyaring dalhin ang bulaklak kasabay sa pag-alay ng kandila kay San Jose at ilagay sa paana ng Birhen Maria.
Magsilohod po para sa panalangin kay San Jose. Prayer to Saint Joseph O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, we place in you all our interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist us by your powerful intercession and obtain for us from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having engaged here below your heavenly power, we may offer our thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, we never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. We dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in our name and kiss his fine head for us and ask him to return the kiss when we draw our dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for us. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, who watch over your creatures with unfailing care, keep us in the safe embrace of your love with your strong right hand, raise up your servants, give them the strength of your own power, minister to them, and heal their illnesses, so that they may have from you the help they long for. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Magsiyo po po sumandali para sa mga paalala. Una, Patuloy po ang ating Paris-wide online family rosary na ginaganap tuwing alas 7.30 ng gabi, 7.30 p.m. Gayon din naman ang online children's catechesis and rosary na ginaganap sa alas 5 ng hapon, 5 p.m. tuwing Merkules at Sabado sa buong buwan ng Mayo. Ikalawa, sa pagunitan natin ng 2021 bilang taon ni San Jose, Ang San Lorenzo Ruiz Paris ay nagaanyaya sa mga nais na mag-alay ng spiritual bouquet para kay San Jose para sa inyong mga espesyal na intensyon katulad ng birthdays, wedding anniversaries, healing at repose of the souls of dearly departed. Ang mga special na intentions na ito ay hihulog sa drop box sa ating altar kung saan ito ipagdarasal sa lahat ng misa sa taon ni San Jose. At panghuli, patuloy pa din po ang pag-aayos ng ating simbahan ayon sa layunin sa pagtatalaga o dedication ng San Lorenzo Ruiz bilang isang parokya. As of May 8, 2021, tayo po ay nakalikom na ng halagang 4.321 million pesos. Sana po ay patuloy nating suportahan ang proyektong ito. Ang mga paraan sa pagbibigay ng inyong donasyon ay ang mga sumusunod. Sa pamamagitan ng pag-alay ng love offering sa bawat misa o sa pag-aalay ng spiritual bouquet kay San Jose. Maaari po ninyong ipadala ang inyong donasyon sa paraan na naka-flash sa screen. Baya GCAS, i-deposit sa Metrobank RCBN San Lorenzo Ruiz Paris o ipadala ang inyong donasyon sa ating Paris office. Maraming salamat po sa inyong walang sawang suporta sa ating parokya. At ngayon po, inaanyayahan ang ating mga nanay dito sa loob ng simbahan at mga sumas sumusubaybay sa kanilang tahanan na tumayo para sa espesyal na pagbabasbas ngayong Mother's Day. Sige po. Let us pray. Good and gentle God, as we commemorate Mother's Day today, especially in this time of the corona pandemic. We pray in gratitude for our mothers and for all women who have joined with you in the power, in the wonder of bringing forth new life. You who became human through a woman, grant to all mothers the courage they need to face this uncertain future that life with children always brings. Give them the strength to live, give and nurture, and to be loved and return. 
not perfectly but humanly as possible as we can chart these trying times of social distancing and community quarantine in the service of your sons and daughters, particularly those serving in the front lines against this virus. Give them the faithful support of husband, family, and friends as they care for the physical and spiritual growth of their children. Give, the, give them joy and delight in their children to sustain them through these difficult trials of motherhood. Most of all, give them the wisdom to turn to you for help when they need it most. We ask you, dear Father, to bless these mothers who, like the Virgin Mary, are your caring partners in nurturing our church and our community. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you very much.